Namaste everyone. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how to break in into your Manduka Pro yoga mat. One, two, three, four. I'll show you what you need step by step. Sea salt, something rough, so you can uh, use it to rub the mat with. A bowl of water with a towel plastic bag so you can put underneath. It can get quite messy. You can also use a sheet if you have like a bed sheet and a pair of disposable gloves. Now, if you want to be more sustainable with this, you can use your bare hands or garden gloves. So let's get to it step by step. Breaking Manduka Pro yoga mat. Also make sure that the place you will leave your yoga mat at will be undisturbed for 24 hours. So keep it away from your kids, from any pets you may have, cats or dogs. So we can, you know, pull the salt and let the mat sit there for 24 hours. Let's get to it. Before we proceed on breaking in the yoga mat, I would like to make a point that this is only for Manduga Pro yoga mats. It doesn't apply to the Eco Mat series uh, of, uh, of Manduga. That's a different material. So make sure that your mat is Manduga Pro. This kind of material. I'll show you a close up right now so you can understand how it looks like. First step, we grab the salt. The ritual, I know it looks awkward and I know it feels a bit strange that you're gonna pour salt on a brand new yoga mat that's worth $140 or euros. But this is a ritual for a yoga mat that's gonna last you a lifetime. Fun fact, Manduga offers a lifetime guarantee on your yoga mats for wear and tear. So this mat will be with you for a very long time. And just go with the flow with this ritual. Once you drop the salt all over the mat, make sure you put you know, quite a decent amount. And then the next step, nice and easy, you start rubbing it. So my personal favorite thing out of this, especially when using this kind of thick salt, is that it's a perfect massage for the hands. The sensations, the tingling sensations of the salt scrubbing the mat in your hand. It was quite nice. So once you are done scrubbing the surface of the yoga mat, I mean, after giving it a good, good rub, you might start seeing a little bit of a salt residue across the surface. Here's a sign that you will actually stop and then you will let it sit for 24 hours. Just close the door of the room, let it be, and we'll come back, you know, tomorrow. So 24 hours have passed. You will notice a few mistakes that I did in this video, for example. There's a lot of edges right here that are uncovered with salt. So make sure you put salt across the whole surface of the yoga mat so you can actually get the grip in the points that you actually need it at. So the next step in the process is to grab your bowl of water. Make sure the water temperature is a, bit, a little bit warm, lukewarm almost. And uh, grab a towel, dump it in, soak it, and get rid of all the water. And you start scrubbing the yoga mat Gently, don't drench it in water right now, you know, not too much, just enough to get rid of the salt residue and all of the big chunks of the crystals of the salt. So let's get to it. See, I'm gently guiding all the crystals away from the mat. There's no rush in the process really. You just want to guide the crystals away. Another easy trick that I'll show you right here is to pick up the edge of your yoga mat. Get all the major crystals away easier and then just rub the salt residue from the mat. You can see all the crystals are starting to pile up. 
Um, I will remove the crystals by themselves without the wet cloth so you can compare the residue the salt leaves behind. Most almost look like there's a you know dust on it compared to the wet, wet punches or damp patches here a little bit more dry here so when I wipe my cloth over it now that's the result we're looking for just dump enough to get the salt away so I got rid of most of the salt from the yoga mat you may notice that I still made a mess on the floor beneath so I'm gonna have to maybe clean that as well just quickly gathering the remaining salt from the floor just to clean up a bit. So the last stage after dampening down the salt with you know a cloth is to let it sit and dry. This can be out in the sun or in the room and leave it for a few hours until you know it's fully dried out and then it's ready to start using. So that's it for this tutorial on how to break in your Manduga Pro yoga mat. Now I've been teaching yoga for 10 years now and Manduga has been the mat that's offered me the most grip in a mat like I've used countless of other mats. Manduga has been the best so far in my professional experience. If you want to get your hands on one, I have a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, but mind you, it won't cost you a thing. It will actually get you a discount of 10 to 15 percent approximately so if you want to get your hands on one of these guys click the link below thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a lovely day with much love namaste